Hello, 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 my family and friends. Um, back and ready to record. My name is Julissa Hall. Um, any new subscribers? Hello, any continuous subscribers? Hello. Um, happy Monday. Today's title is Be Still. And the Lord can tell me to just pray and know, be still and know there's God. Um, don't worry about what's going on in the world. Do not worry about what's going on in your home. Just keep praying for people. I know it's hard. I know it's straining, my friends. So just be encouraged to know that God has your back. God has a helping hand. And he reaches his hands out, please take it. Reach out to him and talk to him what's going on. And when it means to be still, it means to be patient. And God is working on our behalf and other people's behalves in the world. Keep praying for our Congress. Keep praying for our president. Um, just live your life and also pray for a lifestyle, my friends. A change in lifestyles. Um, these are the words that God's been telling me to talk about Congress, drain, be still, pray, and change is coming. So my appointment, I'm at, um, waiting on my appointment, it starts at 11.30, but the Lord just told me to come out here. I just sit up this, I, I've been going to this, um, doctor's appointment for like almost four to five months, and I never thought to just sit over here, you know? Also being still, it's just knowing that you can sit back and just relax. You know, sometimes it's hard, and patience comes with that, you know. Just to sit down and just say, Lord, thank you for this time off. Thank you, Lord, that means to take a deep breath, because it's a lot of stress that goes on in this world. It doesn't matter how much you try to fix it, there's more problems that comes with it, because, you know, we got to learn to let God do what, will do what he do, you know. And you got to trust the flow of God, right, friends. And I was listening to um, Inspire Me, and she was just saying, um, God is the flow. When it's flow, it's like a stream. It goes, it's just it's gentle and patient in the stream. You just want to put your your feet in there and just enjoy, kick the water, splash, and just be calm and clear your mind, my friends, because, you know, patience come with that. You know, watch a movie, go for a walk, go sit in a nice park, and it's been a while. It's just nice to get out of your environment, you know, and, and play, pray for your entertainment my friends because you know sometimes whatever distracts you go lay a blanket down go read a book in the park even if it's just a half hour it makes a difference my friends you know talk to the lord pray in the park do what you gotta do you know you know i know there's still social distancing but it, you know sometimes it's good to just sit back and just give yourself 15 minutes that's just why we have breaks in the world 30 minute break an hour break 60 minute break, whatever you gotta do, you just have a break. Just you know, just wake up, thank you Lord. Just it's awake. It's awaking yourself. You gotta wake up. Knowing that you can relax, knowing that it's the function that God is in your life. And knowing that God is standing with you and, and he's standing tall. The walls are tall with the Lord thy God. And God can block the enemy. God can and he will. Just gotta trust in him and have patience in him. It's gonna get us through. You just gotta have faith have faith and trust in the Lord. Be still, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Be still. So the Lord's been telling me twice. Be still. I know there's a God. Don't worry about what's going on in your home. Do not worry about what's going on. Whatever the lacking is, you're going to be all right. You know, the Lord knows you're tired. The Lord knows that you want to fulfill everything. But you're only human, my friend. You can only do so much. You know, we can easily knock everything off the list if we're able and capable of buying it, can, self. What I'm just saying is, Give yourself a break. The Lord knows you're tired. The Lord knows you have a good heart. You don't always have to be perfection. You don't have to be on time all the time. But if the Lord's telling you to do something, do it. But you know, you, you, you know, you could get it done within two weeks. You know, get, be still and do it. You know, say, well, I got 36 percent of it done. But hey, God bless you. You know, but enjoy this time when God says be still. And this is some still times right now. And let God handle it. And you know, I've been having so many dreams about. I don't even know why I'm having dreams like this. I had a dream about like my family's back at slavery again, but it was just more like bondage. Like it was just still like modern day, but it was like I don't even know how to explain that dream. But it was just like I was just trying to tell my family, let's get out, let's get out, let's get out. But then we were protected. You know, people. We were like people were. Well, not for slavery, but they're protecting us. So they were trying to hide us. Like we were modern day, like we just ripped off the, the the rags and we just put on some new linen, and and they would just go on the flow. But that's 
same time, I say to my friend, my family, I was like, you can't be in the old ways. Well, we're still in the stillness. You know, we can't just be going back to the old craziness. And we know God has in the stillness. We can't go outside of that, you know, that we're going to draw attention, you know. Sometimes having that relaxed um, mindset is good. And have patience. So just pray, read your word, praise and worship, enjoy your day, get some ice cream, go in the pool. Just have a nice day. Um, I know my dream was kind of weird, but it's just happy to get out of it, you know. And the Lord just told me to pray this morning. That's what I did. It was nice. So you guys, happy Monday. I'm not sure how to direct that dream, but I'm glad I got out of it. Because it was just, I wanted to just be myself again. You know, have to worry about the old times, you know. God is going to break those bondage. God is going to break those soul ties. God is going to, you know, going to fulfill everything he told you he's going to do. God, God is everlasting. God is peace his word. God trusts in him, you know. And if it takes a minute, my friends, you gotta trust him because you still gotta cleanse out where it needs to cleanse out and be still. And it was hard for some people to sit still. Trust me, it took me a while to, to learn that skill, to learn that patience, to learn to wait. But it's okay. It's okay. It's okay, my friends. It's okay to cry. It's okay to just shake off the, the stress. But my friends, you're gonna be still. It's, gonna, it's okay. You know, it's the flow of the birds. I keep talking about birds. You know, this little sparrow, he's so cute. God's going to provide them. They don't worry about their food because God's going to provide it. And, you know, there's nourishment from the bugs. They can eat food, um, snack wrappers, you know, they, and they can feel little crumbs. They, they get through. They don't eat that much. You know, God's going to get through with your family. God's going to get through for your finances. God's going to get through for your work, your graduation, your college. Scholarships, my friends. Scar payments. Don't worry. Just enjoy being still. Just trust the Lord. So let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you, Lord, for giving us the word of being still. Let us learn the patience, let us wait and, fulf and fulfill everything you need us to do. But while we're having this relaxed break, this vacation time, you know, thank you, Lord, for covering us, my Lord. Thank you, Lord, for cleaning the blood of the Lamb. Thank you for shielding us, my Lord. Top of head, the sole of the feet, and the full armor of God. The guilt plate protection, um, the breast of the blush plate protection, the um, helmet protection, the spear protection, tilt, and the sandals protection, and um, the guilt protection, and the shield. Um, six of them, the Lord's going to cover us from the head to toe, and our family's going to be protected. And we've got to forgive those who hurt so cool, harm us, and wrong us. Pray for it, and it's and it's good to see it. And sometimes being still needs to go. Sometimes being still needs to wait sometimes being still is just shutting things off and giving god your time and also you guys add in prayer when you need still give god his time and just relax it's just five minutes six minutes 20 minutes whatever your time you feel you need to give him god will keep urging you you gotta give yourself a break give you it's okay don't worry about it god is with you thank you all for holding our hands thank you all for the patience thank you for the love of god Thank you for loving me, even though I've done so much stuff. I'm not perfect, my friends. Thank you for shit they love. Thank you for the shield. God is the shield. He's going to show us to all our problems. You know, people in our neighborhood starting arguing with neighbors, trying to poke at you. Don't worry about it. Enemy can try his best to throw so many darts at you. But don't worry. God said he's still. He's going to shield you with the full armor of God on you. And just keep reading your word. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I love you, my friends and family. Enjoy your day. Um, I'm going to sit here for another 15 minutes for my appointment. Then I'm going to take another bus. And then I'm going to go home. The kids are going to get up, get in the pool. And I just want to be still today. You know, I've been hanging out with my family. It's been super hot. And summer's around the corner. My summer camp is closed for the summer, which is okay. I need to rest myself anyway. And I just got to take a deep breath, my friends. You got to learn that skill. Take a deep breath. My brother's getting married on Monday. I gotta do my braids soon. It's gonna have a lot of headaches. So you gotta, don't forget to drink water. Don't forget to eat. The Lord will tell me, don't forget to eat. You know, so you gotta take care of yourself too. That's the reason why you guys gotta be still. Take care of you and pay for yourself. See you later. Bye bye.